So today we're using dice to help get this little frog through the dungeon full of enemies, like this weird little fly looking thing. It's like a fly cross with a snuffleupagus. But we just put some dice in here like attack and we can also boost the slot that the dice is in with this purple dice and we can also give our guy some shields because it looks like this fly wants to hurt us. So we'll finish that turn, he does his thing and then the fly does that thing to no effect and we have some more boosty dice. So this one boosts dice that are two slots away so we can put one attack dice here and another attack dice over here. It's a little bit of overkill, but that's what we're here for. Just slice them up and then we can move on, getting a new dice in the process, like some terrain dice. Leaves a plus two boost on the slot it is used on. Cool. I like that. And then we move on to, oh gosh, a lot more enemies right away. And he just occupied that slot with his face. Not a fan of that, but at least if we go ahead and boost this dice here and put it on this wormy boy, then when he gets taken out, he deals two damage to a random enemy. And we'll give ourselves some shields in the process. But I don't want to put this here because it's actually boosting the bug. Just slide these around so he does less damage to me. Okay, we will take a little bit of damage, but at least that guy's down. He took damage and the damage that we took is reduced. So we'll just go ahead and put some dice in here. And if we boost this block dice, then once this bug goes down and this bug attacks, then we should take no damage because he only deals three damage and it gets blocked. We're doing pretty good here. Oh, there's a terrain dice. Leaving a plus two boost on a slot is used on. Okay, that's cool. We'll just go ahead and boost it right now. So it's a four boost and we'll use this opportunity to get some health back. Just so we have more health at the end of this, even though we're gonna get hit again. But now that boost is always there. So let's just go ahead and put one dice in right there and be done with it. Hiya! Beautiful. Discarded dice are getting a new one. I want a new one. And right now we only have one healing dice. So we'll go ahead and get that. Ooh, and we have an event. Tall ornate statue shows off a warrior from the past, handing out a dull and rusty blade. Notice three openings meant to pierce one of them. Okay, heart, lung, or stomach. And we can gain some relics out of this. Frozen knife, melting knife. I kind of like the idea of the melting knife. So we need to put in an attack dice here and we need to roll more than two to get the effect. So let's go ahead and do it. Aha, we did it. Scorching flames release abruptly. Sounds like the statue needs some heartburn meds. Notice it has changed. Melting knife. Each time you attack, ooh, get block and heal. Oh, I like that. This is gonna be very good for me against these bugs. And if we attack twice, then that means we should be able to heal twice, right? Okay, we'll only be able to do five damage. So let's go ahead and take out this bug while we're at it. Since this one also only does one damage and the block takes it. Oh no, we actually don't have any attack dice this round. Interesting. Well, at least we can block ourselves with this and heal ourselves with this. Or, you know, boost the spot so we can take out the bug next turn. And this attack dice right here should do that for us. And we should be able to heal all the way back to full as well. Perfect. That melty knife is really good. And now we can increase max HP. And now we have more bugs again. This one's a different color. Wait, we'll deal two damage to the player? I don't like that at all. But you know, it's better we take it out sooner than later. We're actually gonna take a lot of damage from this. At least we'll block twice, so we'll get some blocking to us. Oh, and it's actually sort of not quite enough. We're back down to the health we had before. Okay, two boost dice and one attack dice. We can actually boost these spots twice to deal five damage. Kinda wish it rolled higher, but we'll take it. And we'll also take a little bit of a hit. Oh, this guy wants to heal himself. Well, no damage has been done to you, so you just do that. Meanwhile, I'll take out your friend and heal it myself while I'm at it. That'll work out very good for me. Get some block to do nothing, but now we're back at full health, which is good. And now it's time to turn our attention to this guy. So we'll boost this attack slot and deal some damage. That way we get block and then that negates his attack. And there's a plus four to there, but we throw in another boost dice and here we go, another boost dice. So that's plus seven. So now we'll deal eight damage, even when we rolled a one here. Works for me. Beautiful. Ooh, and now we can upgrade our dice to silver. Let's upgrade one of our attack dice and one of the boost dice as well. I think it'd be good. Okay, some more of these blocking bugs. That's rude. I can put a boost dice here so I'm not boosting either of them. And then just taking out one of them at a time should be good. We're gonna take quite a bit of damage, but at least we'll have some blocking to our name. And then we can boost this attack dice to... Ooh, hold on. We have another boost dice here. So if we could, oh, if only it went there. Okay, you know what, that's fine. We'll just swap this around. So this slot is boosted a whole bunch and now we're dealing nine damage here. That's not 
quite enough still. But you know, we're reducing the health of this bug and we'll survive this onslaught, so we shouldn't be too worse off for ourselves. Oh, Except no. we're down to single digits health. Okay, it's fine. We can use this moment to heal up a whole bunch, which we kind of need to, but now we're getting damaged again. Okay, we still have more health than we did before. And now we'll just attack you and then give ourselves some blocking so we take no damage this turn very good and we still heal a little bit now we just take out this guy entirely goodbye hey and now we get to choose a relic and i like these dancing shurikens three damage for every six dice used oh and we get another event hear a tingling sound is there something you wish for we should be stronger safer nothing we need to get five for this at least the slots have a two times modifier let's see i want to be stronger so we'll put that there hopefully roll good yes we did so now we get to choose between two more relics. Crimson Blade or Shiny Stone. Take two damage at the end of the turn. I don't like that at all. We'll boost the dice when all the slots are filled. That's it. Whoa, who are you? Plague Bug. Okay, now the spot is infected. Reduces value and it's gonna spread. That's not good. At least it'll spread if it's not covered with dice. Okay. I have no boost dice this turn. So we'll need to play a little defensive. If we do it like this, we'll get health back and some blocking. And then some extra of each because of the melty blade. We still took a fair bit of damage there. And now the infection is spreading. Now this slot is boosted plus six. Which would be nice if I was attacking, but now I'm not. I could heal up a whole bunch, though. I should go net positive this turn for health back. And sure enough, I do. Okay, that's good. But now I'm all out of healing. So I need to finish this fight. So let's boost up some of these slots and then put an attack down. Ooh, for 10. That takes out this guy entirely. I like that. Just reduce their numbers. That's what I need to do here. Okay, but now the infection has spread a whole bunch. So ultimately, we'll need to put some dice down to get rid of that. And at least we can take out this bug and reduce most of the damage from this guy. All right, now we will get a whole lot of damage done here. Ooh, 16. That's perfect. And the slots got boosted because all the available ones are filled. Thank you, shiny stone. I don't know why he keeps asking me to discard a die. I'm just going to heal all my health back. That saves me a lot of trouble, especially since we have a big shield beetle here. And thankfully, the slot this guy took over is way at the end. You are so helpful to me. And we'll just boost this slot to deal more damage there. And we can put this one down here to permanently augment that slot. And oh, I could have taken out that bug. I didn't think about that very hard. But at least this slot is boosted. Plus five. That's very good. So I can just put this down here and be done with this bug right away. And then we'll gain some shielding to help me out and probably some health as well just to keep on top of everything excellent okay he gave shielding to you so we'll just use this opportunity to take out that shield beetle if we can plus seven there and then a little bit more right there oh just shy of his full health you know what that's fine by me makes him a lot easier to take out especially with a plus three boost to the slot i guess the value is going down but it's not too much we have to worry about so shield beetle's taken out and now all that's left is you so we'll just deal one damage to you and then use this opportunity need to heal a whole bunch oh wait we're only missing one health never mind just attack him once and then we're at full perfect okay do i want a new die or more max hp i think a new die would be fun a prism dice when targeted extends the effects to its own targets i see so it's like a range booster but i think i'm gonna go with a silver block dice instead we might need more blocks dealing with this guy who just flourished in out of nowhere and he's attacking twice it's very not good we'll get as much shielding as we can from that but use all of our attack to take out this bug get on out of here we don't need you and the terrain dice roll the absolute lowest don't want to waste that right now time for some more blockies and just a little bit extra damage for more blockies to take out you because you attack twice Woo! and we still took a little bit of damage so that's rough now we have absolutely no attacks but we have a lot of boost so we can augment that terrain dice put that right there for a seven bonus to the slot this is just gonna really hurt my health numbers though ow ow all right but now we can do some work because this will take out the archer right away and we can use this to get some more health back because that guy's only going to heal so we don't have to worry about him just take out the archer excellent he heals back to full and we just proceed to feel bad for him because this fight is pretty much over but now with a one plus we're going to use a two plus and get some more health back for me Hi -ya! 
Beautiful. And we can upgrade two more dice. I'm thinking we could probably use an upgrade to the healing dice and then another attack dice. Okay, what are you? You look like you're barely keeping yourself together. He's got a disruptible modifier. Will cancel its actions if dealt any damage. Ooh, interesting. Well, he's going to attack six times and I really don't like that. So let's just take you out right away. But you have a lot of health and I could certainly use some blocking. So we'll just attack you, get some block for us. And now he won't do anything, which is good. And we can go ahead and boost that slot and then boost the attack here for more damage there. That's good. It looks like his number of strikes is going down. So maybe we can reduce that to very low amounts of damage. Okay, it looks like it stopped going down, but he's almost dead. So we just need to put the attack dice up there, boost the slot a little bit more. Now he's down and we can still use some more blocking. So we'll do this, but rearrange it so we get additional boosting, hopefully, but it doesn't look like we can with this. So we'll just do what we can and take out the big guy. <laughs> he has such a shocked expression like, oh, surprise Pikachu moment. And the rest of these guys go down just as easy and we get some additional health back. Now we're back at full. I think this time I'll get more max HP because we're getting more hits in. And we have this guy again and two of these guys. So two slots are blocked. Lovely. I'm going to have to deal with this guy for now and just free up some space for me. Or, you know, since I can't take these guys out in one hit, I'll just use this opportunity to take out the weird guy. Not take him out, but, you know, remove his ability to attack. Okay, now that I can boost the slots, now we're in business. Just take out you and get a lot of shielding for me. I guess he took a little bit of damage. So that stopped his attack because we're using six dice or whatever. Well, that's good at least. Now we'll boost that slot because it's right in the middle. And you know, let's boost it again. Or you know, I get some shielding because I'm about to take a lot of hits here. Oh, but he took damage. Yes. We're keeping ahead of him somehow. And then if we use a few more dice here. Okay, I think I see the idea of getting rid of dice because I have no attack dice right now. I'll just build up to the six dice. That should hopefully deal three damage to you and take you out. And it just dealt three damage to you. Okay, there's a lot of hits. Wow. Don't want you to do that again. Go away. And actually, if we just fill up to the six dice here, then this guy will go out as well. So we take you out and then the effect goes in on you. Beautiful. And we get another relic. Ooh, Mark of the Chosen One. If there's only one die, it gets three times its value. I like that. So if we put just one dice here, that's nine damage right there. Wow, that's enough to take you out. I can tank the hits from these. Just wait, what is this? Enemy can only be killed when dealt an accurate. Oh, so we need to get his exact health in order to take him out. Well, that's annoying. Gotta do a little bit of math here. Okay, I don't think there's any way that this math pans out, so we'll leave you alone for now. We can use a nine damage to take out this guy. Just gotta put up with losing 12 health right there. Ow. Okay, we set up this slot to be a plus five and then plus two, that's seven. So we can take out this guy. Lovely. And this guy, we don't need to worry about an accurate strike. So we can just, oh man, get four times three. That is wonderful right there. And we can upgrade dice. Why don't we go ahead and upgrade the terrain dice so we can get a max value of four there. And we'll upgrade the last of the attack dice. What is this? Golden bubbles? Whole picture gives a mystifying feeling. Well, yeah, they look like lemons. I think I want to look for the source and then we'll use the silver health dice for that. And if we get this, we'll get five more max HP. Ooh, we can get some relics. I think I'm more interested in the relics now that I think about it. So we'll touch some bubbles and hopefully get a seven. Ooh, beautiful. We just crushed it. Choose between three relics. Accurate kills heal two HP. That looks pretty good, especially since we can get an accurate kill right here. And we'll just use it to heal some more HP. Oh, it's not accurate anymore. Just put that over here. Okay, that works. Getting a little bit of damage elsewhere, but at least we take out this guy and then get some other things going for us. And we're actually negative for that turn. I don't think I thought that through properly. All right, but ooh, two plus three dice. So we can really boost up this one. Although that still doesn't take this guy out. Hmm. We'll have to be defensive. So we'll get this slot boosted for that. But I really want to heal a whole bunch. So we'll need to do this. That guy's going to block. So, so we'll be getting more health this turn as it is. I'm okay with that. And now we can put the 16 in here. What? Okay, let's just do that then. And then get some block on top of it because this guy's going to hurt me a little. Actually, I can't. I need to do this. But that's 21 damage right there. I like it. Get rid of you and then just tank you a little bit because you're rude. And then this being the only dice gives it an 18 to attack a seven health creature. That is just rude. Ooh, and we can upgrade a dice to gold tier. I think I need to do one of the attack dice just to see what happens. 
I can roll all the way up to six. Oh, hello. Encounter a shadowed figure carrying a huge backpack. Do you have rare dice? Show me. We'll give you great treasures. Ooh, just to catch a glimpse of them. We need to roll 16. And this one needs dice of mirror type, which we don't have anyways. We'll do just the normal one. Put all the dice that are upgraded that we can in there between common relics. Oh, we can't get epic relics. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do this and then roll really well. And then we can get relics. Ooh. Ooh, dice with a value of one cost no energy. I like it. Now we have a new figure on the field, a bard looking bug. Actions of this enemy are based on the dice that you use. I see. Well, what if we just take you out entirely? I think that means that we lose because these guys are going to do a lot of hurry. And because we're giving ourselves block, then the bug is giving themselves block and boosting a little which affects the boost that he gave everybody else okay we need to take out some fools so we need to boost that and then boost this a whole bunch that's still not enough but we could absolutely wipe out this bug but i'm also about to die well it's been a fun journey but there's no way i can get out of this so we'll just take him out as we can oh every, no every but getting some I'm gold best. dice i think is good and we took out 34 enemies not bad i'd say and this really was just the prologue for dying the dungeon so if this game looks good to you guys then make sure you wishlist it i personally enjoyed it and i'm excited to see what the full game has so thank you very much for watching this one and sub to intern and thank you channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sax, Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angels, Lily Bites, Levi, and the Miner Within.